Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to fix the 100% disk utilization problem in Windows. So if your computer is also having 100% disk utilization or if it is having 100% CPU utilization, then you can follow this video till the end and let me know in the comment section which of the fix or which of the method has solved your problem so that it can be useful for the people who are facing the same issue. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free for you, but it helps me a lot. Now, the first thing first, I'll suggest you to update your Windows and perform a full system scan for virus and malware. Turn off the antivirus if you are using any third party antivirus. In case you are using Windows security, then it's okay. You can let it be on. Then in the task manager, you can see which of the task is causing all the problem. Like for me, in my computer, you can see that most of the CPU utilization is being done by this VMware NAT service, which is for the network. So if I kill this task, then it's going to solve my problem like this. So in your case also, you can look for the task which is causing the problems. You can just arrange the tasks according to their disk utilization or memory utilization or CPU utilization. So you just have to click like this and then you will be able to find out the task which is having the maximum utilization and then you can turn it off if it belongs to any third party software or application. Then in the next step, I want you to open your services manager. Now to do that, you will have to press Windows plus R. It's going to open the run command. Now here you have to type services.msc. This is the one and hit enter. Now here we are going to turn off some of the services. The first one is superfetch or the sysmin. It's a Windows service running in the background that can predict which application you will run next. So you just have to search for it. It will be somewhere at the bottom. It's this one sysmin. So you can right click on it. Go to properties. Then you have to click on stop. Once it is stopped, you have to click here under the startup type and then make it disabled and then click on apply and then click on OK. Then the next service is Windows search. You just have to keep scrolling down till you find Windows search. This is the one. Right click on it. Click on properties. Here also you have to do the same. Click on stop. Then under startup type, you have to make it disabled. Then click on apply, click on OK. Then the third one is connected user experience. It will be somewhere up here. It's this one. So right click on it and then click on properties. Stop the service and then change the startup type to disabled. Click on apply, then click on OK. Now you can do a restart of your computer and then check if that has solved your problem. If it has not, then you can open your Google Chrome. Now here I want you to click on this three dot menu icon like this. Then click on settings and then in the search settings right here, you can search for preload pages. And this is the setting. You just have to turn this off and then check if that has solved your problem. If that has not solved your problem, then you can turn this back on because it makes your browsing faster. Now in the next step, we are going to reset the virtual RAM. So just right click on your this PC icon, click on properties and then you can click here on advanced system settings. Then from here, you have to click on settings under performance. Just click on settings. Then you have to click on this advanced tab. Now coming under here, you can see we have this section for, for virtual memory. You have to click on change. All right. Now you have to turn this off automatically manage paging file size. And then you can click here on no paging file and then click on OK and then restart your computer and then check if that has resolved your problem. If it has not, then you can return back to this setting and revert back the changes that you have made. Now in the next step, I want you to update your device drivers. So you can just click on start button and search for device manager. Open it up. Then you have to look for your C drive. In my case, my C drive is a SSD drive, which is a Kingston drive. So this is the one. So just right click on it and then check if there is any update available. 
if there is then you can do the update if there is no update available then you can do a firmware update for your device now to do that you will have to open your browser like this and then according to the manufacturer of your ssd or hard disk you have to make appropriate search for example in my computer it's a kingston ssd so i can just search kingston ssd from where update in your case if it is a samsung ssd then you can write here samsung or if there is any other brand then you can search accordingly and then make a search and then from the result you can open the support page of your ssd and then download the software and then you will have to install that software and then you can check if there is any firmware update available for your device if there is you can just install it and then check if that solves your problem anyways if that has not helped you then in the next step i want you to open your pc and then click on your c drive and then click here on this three dot icon click on cleanup then from here you can tick mark the files that you want to delete i'll suggest you to delete all the temporary files and all the junk files and then after that you can just click on ok delete them and then after that i want you to open command prompt so just click on your start button and search for cmd then click here on run as administrator click on yes now here i want you to turn off the hibernate feature first then after that i want you to run sfc space scan now this is going to run the SFC scan on your computer and it's going to check for any Windows integrity violations. Once it is complete, it may ask you to restart. So restart your computer. Then after that, you have to open command prompt once again. Open it in run as administrator. And this time you have to run check disk. I'm going to keep all the commands in the description so you can directly copy it from there and then run them here you can just type y and hit enter and then you can restart your computer when you restart your computer the check disk is going to run and fix any disk error that is found on your computer now after your computer restarts and you are still facing the same problem then you can just hit windows plus r and here you have to type msconfig and hit enter and then from here click on services tab and then click here on hide all microsoft services now all the microsoft services are hidden i have turned off this samsung mobile usb connectivity seagate secure and then these are the services which are required for smooth functioning of my computer nvidia is the graphics driver in this way you can make out from the list which are the services which can be turned off safely and then once you are done with that click here on startup tab and then click here on open task manager now in task manager these are starting up with your windows so you can make out from this list also that i have disabled these apps because they are not required for the smooth functioning of my computer and they are additional applications so i have disabled them and i have left windows security and some of the important applications to run in the same way you can disable the applications which you think are malicious or which you think are not required for your windows to run then once you are done with that you can close this you can click on ok and then you can restart your computer if required if that still does not solve your problem in the next step i want you to just right click on your start button click on install the apps and then uninstall all the softwares that you don't use if still your problem is not resolved then in the last step you can do a clean boot of your windows now to perform this clean boot you can follow one of my another video where i have showed how to perform a clean boot and then how to check the problematic application or the service so i'll just go ahead and leave the link in the description of the video so you can check out that video and perform the clean boot and see if that resolves your problem so that's all for this video. I hope by the end of this video you were able to solve your 100% disk utilization problem. So don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.